will be talking to the foreign guests that come to the hotel and while they're being checked in I will give them information about their stay and what they would like to do. So I'll help them with any concierge needs that they would have. We've got the panda research like five minutes away which is the main reason why a lot of the foreign guests come to the hotel. So normally what I do, I prepare a welcome pack for them with a panda based map, a map of Chengdu, my business card and a hotel shuttle bus timetable as well. In terms of what the hotel's provided for me, I can show you my room. So, I live in the hotel while I'm here. Uh, I also get to eat in the guest restaurant uh, for breakfast and dinner every day. I have to eat in the staff canteen for lunch, which is no problem. But yeah, it's quite good. <laughs> mainly because I wanted to get away from the West and have a completely different cultural experience whilst at the same time working in the industry uh, and the fact was that the jobs I could get in China were much better than any position that I could get in the States, in Canada or even back in London. I definitely would recommend intern China with them, it's not just an internship, it's a program as well. So they organize trips in and around Sichuan province and even outside. Um, you get to meet other English and other English speaking people in China and socialize with them, which is a real breath of fresh air, especially when you're the only foreigner in your hotel. It isn't necessary for you to speak Chinese to come here. I came to China not even knowing what hell I was. My Chinese is still very basic, uh, so it's definitely not a problem if you don't speak it. The main reason being for this is that I deal exclusively with the foreign guests in the hotel. So from check-in to check-out, if they have a problem, if they need anything, I'm the person that they deal with and I get it sorted for them. So this is the main focus of my duty, just dealing with the foreign guests and making sure that they're happy with their stay. I think because I come to China with no front desk experience, my only hotel experience was in food and beverage. So I've gained front office experience in China as well as management experience because my position here isn't just as a front desk agent. I'm working as a guest service manager, so I'm in charge of staff. I have authority. Um, so I think it would be fair to say that I've learned quite a lot in China, yes. The application process with Intern China was really, really easy. I ended up coming to China in July, six months after my placement should have started, and within four weeks of applying to Intern China, I was in China working. The cultural differences between an English or Western hotel and a Chinese hotel are phenomenal. The service standard in China is generally quite poor, um, and one of the things that I found most bizarre is that everybody, and I mean everybody, will be on their phone the entire time. They use their phones to communicate with each other and I've fallen into that bracket now. And it's gonna be quite difficult going back and not using my phone at work. The best thing about the internship has definitely been the freedom that I've had at work. Being so involved with all the foreign guests has meant that I've had reviews on TripAdvisor mentioning me and also through the heartbeat scheme that the hotel sends via email to the guests that have stayed here. So I've had a lot of positivity from it and it's been a great experience compared to maybe something that I could have got in Europe or in another Western country.